paying respects to Chairman Mao Zedong. A delegation of military officers from Africa visits the late Chinese leader's former residence in Shaoshan, Hunan Province. Now the site has been turned into a museum that presents Chairman Mao's legacy. As a military strategist, Mao was dedicated to the Chinese Revolution. He also made unique contributions to the world's military history. Many African officers told me that China over the past decades has been playing a positive role in supporting the liberation and sovereignty of African nations. In the early uh, 1950s, coming to 60s, when most African countries gained independence, and during that time, China had stood by most of the countries to support them um, in terms of, um, you know, uh, you know, shaping themselves to be self-reliant and also to be able to um, get um, their security um, in place. China is helping the brothers out and helping the countries develop because in the end in the world we all need to help each other. So I see China's uh, initiative on uh, keeping the, uh, the, the relationship with the African countries uh, strong, a very good, good initiative. The delegation has also visited the National University of Defense Technology in the provincial capital of Changsha, checking out the supercomputer Tianhe 2 and the Beidou navigation satellite system. The People's Liberation Army has been carrying on its non-threatening policy, facing the complicated world landscape. With all the threats that are happening in the world, it is very important for each and every country to defend itself. So you need to innovate, you need to research and all of those things. So it is very important to move with the times and be able to defend yourself as effectively as possible. Well, I don't think China wants hegemony in the world. They just want uh, cooperation between everybody. That win-win situation is what China is striving for. The visit of African officers to China is a routine activity that contributes to a long history of security cooperation between China and African nations. China says it will make efforts to build a closer China-Africa community with a shared future. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, Hunan Province.